Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I want to show you how to enable disable integrity checks and enable test signing so that your PC will go into test mode. You have to enable test mode if you have some specific stuff you want to do with it or a software or some software you want to use a request for your PC to be in test mode for you to be able to use it. Now for me to do that, I have to go to CMD run as administrator then my cmd opens now the next thing i have to do is to go to my desktop i'll go to test sign in since i don't want to type i'll just copy the first line then paste and if you want to type it's very easy bcdedit.exe space hyphen set space load options space capital letters disable underscore integrity checks then you press you press enter then after that i'll go and copy the next one so i'll press copy and once i press copy i'll paste pcd edits just look at it and press enter now i'll I'll paste the whole stuff in my description so that you can easily copy and paste instead of um, having to um, type everything. So you can just copy from the YouTube channel, paste on your CMD and you are good to go. Now this is the error most of you might be facing. An error has occurred setting the element data. The value is protected by secure goods policy and cannot be modified or deleted um let me copy this message i'll need it later on um let's do this i'll paste it here and this is it i'll also take a snapshot snapshot of it now to on some pieces older pieces actually if you want to do this it will definitely once you press um enter on your test signing on it will definitely sign in it will definitely uh, tell you the operation completed successfully and once you get that um on some occasions i think um i've forgotten how it used to work on those older systems i think it would prompt you to restart your system and once the system restarts on the right hand side of your screen you start seeing test mode here test mode your windows version windows 11 home or pro um the version of the windows 11 or 10 or whatever and some other things there and that's how you know that you've been able to successfully boot your pc into um test signing that is test mode and disable integrity checks now for these newer systems um all you have to do is to disable your secure boots if you disable your secure boots and retry these steps you will be able to get full access to what you are actually looking for now um you to do that you have to turn off your pc and then you also need to know your pc's um brand uh, bios key on my lenovo laptop it's f2 on some hp laptops on hp laptops it's f10 to boot into bios and um, um dell is f12 so i think um samsung samsung is f4 if i'm not mistaken but i'll leave a link to one of my videos in the description as well so that you can watch it and see how to boot into your bios from that video that video will definitely help you a lot you don't need to guess it just watch the video see which bios key you need and then follow through with the rest of the video now all you have to do is to turn off your pc if you turn it off you turn it on then with your bios key from the later part of the video you'll be able to do that So for this um, part now, 
I believe by now you must have seen the watched the video in the description to get your brand's boot key. Now my boot key on this Lenovo laptop is uh, my F2 button. So I'll just power on and keep tapping on my boot key. It has beeped now. Um, idea part five, blah 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 blah. Uh, that's not what I'm interested in. This is what I'm interested in. I'll go to security, go to secure boot, disable secure boot. Remember, you must have um, a very tangible reason why you are doing this, otherwise, you might be messing with your system. I already told you mine. So I'll do this and exit. So now my secure boot is disabled and I should be good to go. So now that the system has rebooted successfully and you've disabled your secure boot, we'll just head over and redo our steps. CMD run as administrator, then I'll go to my desktop. I'll test sign in. Once I do the test sign in, I'll copy, paste, enter. Um, copy, paste again. Copy, paste, enter. Now the error has gone because we've disabled the secure boots. Now the operation completed successfully, which is exactly what we want. So that's just it. Now um, on your screen here, you, if I restart, once I re do a restart now, you'll be able to see test mode um, stuff right here. So I'll restart the system and we'll check it out. So I've done another restart and as you can see, test mode Windows 11 Pro build 2600 blah 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 blah, which means I've successfully activated my test mode. So this is how to bypass that um, initial error and get your test mode to work.